Good morning, this is Jill with Lemongrass Jill, and I'm gonna go a little bit out of my comfort zone. Honestly, I think anybody's comfort zone this morning, and talk a little bit about um, using natural products in our armpit area. And we have launched this year two new uh, products that are great just for um, both, I would say both armpit aroma and also just armpit health. So I just wanted to share with you what I what my routine is. I figured out a few years ago when I was pregnant and I was in a high risk pregnancy that I needed to really start before I was using the deodorant. What was gonna help me to just have the most success with not smelling terrible by the end of the day? Because when you're pregnant, at least when I was pregnant, I sweated a lot. So I start with our all natural tea tree soap. It does say face soap, but I actually use this in my armpit area. And this is my bar that I keep in the shower. So you can see, you know, it starts nice and large, handmade in the Colorado Rockies. And then I use that in the shower. So that's number one. Uh, my favorite routine right now is to use our natural deodorant spray. So I happen to love the lemongrass and I'm just going to show you what I do because this is going to be unusual. It's not going to be your standard antiperspirant and we don't want to use antiperspirants. They have a lot of aluminum in them and I think I might even post, I have an old work shirt um, from when I was working in corporate America and you can see the aluminum flakes on that shirt. So that was a little alarming to me. But what you do with our natural uh, deodorant spray, so again, this is a little personal, but I just wanna show you. What I do is I spray two or three spritzes under both armpits, right, of course. And there's witch hazel in there, and there's mineral salts. And some people that actually don't perspire very much or mist or sweat or whatever you want to call it, that might be enough, okay? But if you know, like I'm on the way to my son's soccer game and we actually sell, and so I get the corresponding, the lemongrass, all natural deodorant paste. This stuff lasts forever. It comes in a nice glass jar. And believe it or not, I have been using this for almost, I calculated it, almost six months and I don't know if you can tell but I still have probably a quarter of it left. So this um, is something that our home office took a lot of time and care in developing and it really works well. So using that mist first is what I like to do and I'm going to show you how I use this. So I don't know if you saw but I just got a little tiny amount out and mm, it's a little bit more so let me show you it's a little bit more than a pea size but it's not a ton and then what you do is you literally just rub that in and so you that's about how long I wait from spraying to rubbing it in um, one of our team members one of our directors in lemongrass has been through a breast cancer journey and she said she is encouraging her customers don't be weirded out by rubbing something in this lymph node area because it's actually a great way, um, every time you use this, you can kind of be in tune with your body. Like, is there any lymph node nodule that you need to be aware of? And I thought that was a great point as a breast cancer survivor. So thank you, Heather, for teaching that to me. So that's it. It actually finishes as a, it starts as a cream and it finishes off as a powder. And then of course, we'll do the other um, armpit as well. So yeah, I don't use very much. I mainly, I probably, I'll have to admit to you, I used to be an overuser of antiperspirant. So I probably use a little bit more than what is needed, necessary, but that's all I use. You rub it in well and you are done. And there's just a tiny bit of residue on my hands. What I usually do is just rub it off on my handy towel and that's all there is to it. It works extremely well. I wanted to show you that method just because it is a little different. Um, for those who just want to go traditional, we do have a coconut oil based um, all natural deodorant. This one happens to be grapefruit lily, 
But yeah, that's going to look like your more traditional store-bought um, deodorant, except there's no aluminum, there's no antiperspirant. Our bodies are supposed to detox. We have the most lymph nodes under our armpit area. We need to let that area detox and breathe by not covering it um, with a chemical base. So I hope that was helpful once again. That was our, um, well, we started with the um, tea tree soap that I use in the shower. And then you saw me use the all natural deodorant spray. Again, that's enough for some people, but I like to finish with our deodorant paste. For me personally, this combo of the spray and the paste is more impactful. I get a better result than using this um, deodorant. So coming to you live from my bathroom, <laughs> from my morning routine, and I hope you have a great day. Let me know below if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer those. Thank you so much.